Welcome back to Juice Labs. What's up, everybody? We're back with Umbrella Academy. I'm Clay. Juice. I'm Corey. Episode six now. Six. Under my leadership, the commission would sound more like. What about the board of directors? Well, that's where you come in. No. No, it isn't. In exchange for the assassination of the board. Oh, oh. all of them. <laughs> 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 Taking them all out. The apocalypse when we get back into uh, I feel like yeah, believe her question. I distinctly remember you telling me that that apocalypse had to happen. That it was supposed to happen. Back then, I was telling the company why. I think some time to think about it. Don't believe her. You know what? I might take that deal. You already know how this is going to go. Daddy's going to play all his little mind games on us, get into our heads, and he's going to turn us all against each other. You watch. I don't know what's different this time. I don't know what's yeah, me. Oof, it's right. not gonna help. It's not. Number one, number two, bullshit. Now on, it's two, two guys two. being dudes. Team zero. Team zero. I can't tell if that's cool or just embarrassing. Hmm. I like <laughs> it because it makes me think of Zero from Holes. People should go back to their families. Most of them don't have families to go back to. Jim gave up an Albright scholarship to Berkeley to follow you around the world. Her parents oh, that's bad. It's a bad decision making. Oh, that's yeah. the uh, brown skin, glasses, almond shaped eyes you get lost. She gave up her entire future for you. Maybe she freed herself from the prison of the American education system. You gotta kill her so she could become a ghost and live eternally with me. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Jesus. Try on and toss out whatever you feel like. You owe them. Imagine having all that drip. <laughs> no one can see it. Ben, Ben's killing it. I'm a complete and total fraud. He's really not, though. No, he's not. <laughs> but he is, he is hanging dong right now. I'm, oh, you know it. I'm a fraud, too. Yeah, I'm the worst kind of Yeah, no, there's no way it's gonna I'm work. Yeah. It's not what I meant. I, too, am fraud. <laughs> I am fraud. I am a 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 fraud. Yeah, I don't know how else this was gonna go. Yeah, did this happen in Fight Club? I was trying to think of the, or some other thing. So there was a black president? We've been through this. Like, black black. And you have powers. Yes, for the 17th time. Then prove it. That's wild. You think she you like went back on all this or something? Okay, it is not just some Wait, what do you mean? There is a cost. Okay, so maybe she like got powers, actually, I don't know. nobody can see. Yeah, I was gonna say, how does she just expect him to believe that without evidence? Well, he without doesn't believe her in the present, or yeah. So I wonder if she just said she was lying at some point. Because well, the whole, the whole no, reason this, they're no, arguing, this is the this present. is all present day. Oh, we're present day now. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I thought this was. The, it was just the intro that was passed. Because remember, at the end of the last episode, she was like, "I'm going to tell you everything." Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, you're right. I, I mixed it up because uh, they met in the beginning. Yeah. Try on anything you want. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you think he's going to get super into it and then try to get her to use her powers all the time? Yeah, this is exactly My what's going to happen. Yeah. Why wouldn't he either? Like, yeah, oh, yeah, it makes sense. That's funny. It's like, hey. That's every... actually a great point because that's probably the one of the biggest, like, short of the addiction, like, themes and how she could overuse it. Yeah. Like, why wouldn't... Uh, he want her to Especially, do that. Especially, like, with all the stuff yeah. he's been fighting for, he's been struggling so much. And he's like a leader, too, like, exactly. yeah. as a person. Get your black ass out of here before I call the police. I heard a rumor that you shut your damn mouth. Oh, so how does, does it seal his mouth shut? I don't know. Yeah. Just because that first episode, she's like, I heard a rumor I blew your minds, and their heads exploded. Maybe it's her that uh, Allison that starts like going kind of crazy with it. Oh yeah. More. 
took her like using it three times for the wheels to come off. I can imagine it's a slippery slope. Yeah. Hey, you have one drink. You're right back drinking whole bottles. Don't say that. Dad. You need more cushion, bro? No, I'm good. I'm just like checking the back of it. Oh, jeez Louise. That was weird. That was weird. <laughs> I feel like he violated Klaus. Oh, is that Dave? Oh shit, Dave's here. That's a twist I did not see coming. What, Dave showing up? Yeah. Whenever we got a ride there, he's only 14. <laughs> I think he said he was 15. Your favorite song is The Man Who Shot Liberty. Well, my, my biggest question still is now they 100% know each other, so doesn't that change the original timeline? Yeah, I think it's not like dark at all. I think it's yeah. like. So it's just kind of whatever's happening first. Listen, February 21st, 1968, in the A. Shaw Valley, you take fire trying to hold Hill 689. You never come off that hill, Dave. That's that's it. He's got proof. Um, yeah, shit. Now that's This was a much better way to explain it to him yeah. than before of just running into the restaurant. I've already enlisted. What? That's not supposed to happen yet. The other day after I saw you... Oh, he, he changed the timeline, but it didn't really change. He tried to prevent something and made it happen. Oh my god, that... Fuck! That's never... Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, it pulled at that, so Raven. Dave, did he come back? He still might, might not die there. <laughs> Reginald. Damn, he just walk in, act like he don't know nobody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Where are your children? In the future. 1989, you adopted us all and trained us to fight against the end of the war. Love our talks. Special abilities. Special? In what sense? In the superpower sense. Call me old fashioned, but I'm a stickler for a pesky little thing called evidence. Now, if there was a person there, <laughs> you would have missed. What are you writing? You are zero for two, young man. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's so funny. Now, that is interesting. Uh, maybe we don't take my neck for a test. Oh, yeah, that's probably not a good idea. Yeah. It's fine. Man, she can control it so much better that now. Seems super yeah, controlled. good for her. Explain this. Then explain that's this. That's two days from now on the grassy at the exact spot the president's going to get shot. Coincidence, I say. I hope by giving this to you, I don't make it happen. <laughs> you fancy yourself a do-gooder. The last good man who will save us from our descent into corruption and conspiracy. The sad reality is that you're a desperate man, tragically unaware of his own insignificance. Or succinctly, a man in over his head. Wow. His dad took him down that quick. Yeah. I'd have hit him with a no you. <laughs> no you are. No way! Yeah, he can take over his body. I'm with it, boy. Damn. Thank you for coming. I've seen about enough. 
I can jump into his body like Patrick it's Swayze. Just possess him. <laughs> 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 Oh god, Danner's ruined. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I lost my appetite. If you're not. You're in a word in private. What do you know about time travel? In theory? In practice. I know it's akin to descending blindly into the depths of freezing waters and reappearing as an acorn. It starts small. Seconds. Not decades. Seconds. Hmm. No offense, but I need a bit more time for what I'm trying to accomplish. He's never tried to jump back so seconds. Well, because when they oh, yeah. showed it, he He's just went it. full bore. Yeah. And that kind of scared him off. Yeah. An acorn doesn't become an oak overnight. I was really hoping you had more than that. I don't know, it's good advice. It is. I'm surprised he hasn't tried. But then, yeah, he's only tried it like three times, I think. Or, yeah, jump forward, jump back, and then back to 63. No skin off my teeth, old man. See, I like this Reginald. I like Reginald too. At least right here. Like before. I like Back in Time, Reginald. Yeah, because when we saw him in season one, it was just flashbacks of him. You know, just like botching it. Botching it. Just it's interesting to in the see bag. him talking to someone that he isn't the authority figure. Yeah. Is this uh, Swedish boys? No. Oh. I love this guy. Doesn't he never leave? Or he leaves like what? only on like Wednesdays for an hour. It's happening. Get to the nitrous. Oh, oh. the gun. No, he's. I feel like they'd look more badass wearing if those were like leather dusters. <laughs> you know, I mean, I that's agree with that. everything looks more badass. Some of us don't get to have the life we want. That's me. We don't want it. If we go somewhere <laughs> away from here, away from the car, somewhere we can be safe. Is San Francisco a full in full San Francisco mode yet? I'm sure it's I'm more progressive sure. than Dallas, Texas. That's what I'm saying. Right now, she there's only a few other places she could go that are less progressive. Like, yeah. Just go anywhere else yeah. besides Dallas, Texas. Oklahoma is not better. I'm surprised that she was down for this. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, well, this wasn't the first time Vanya brought this up. It's true. So she's probably been thinking about it. Yeah. Mulling it over. And you know, uh, she should sacrifice her own happiness just because. Uh, well. Oh. <laughs> Will he follow her? Looks like it. And now, oh, uh, oh, you see no. kissing. They got lights on. Turn the lights off. I didn't think it would help. <laughs> yeah. Cool atmosphere. Oh man. Oh no, Elliot. Did they kill him? I hope yeah, I not. think I think so. He's pretty motionless. Oh man. Wow. Right in his eye, they tortured him. Oh dude. And he's got a knife in his chest. I take out the board. You get me and my family home. No more doomsday. She's lied to you every time so far. Yeah, but he's lied to her, too. That's true. And blew up the That's whole commission saying. and literally killed her. They should not believe each other. Although, Five sniffed out the... the uh, what? What is you know, that? I have no idea. You know what? Five sniffed out that... Uh, what is her name? Lily? Lilla? Was, uh... Was part of the commission almost immediately yeah so I would be surprised if he's taking her deal at face value you know, honestly like I think we said it before fives just on it all the time I'm cool with him he should just keep doing whatever 
He makes and good decisions. You it would, and, you good. Know, and it would be ridiculous if she, you know, they've been lying and ripping each other off since the first season, and then all of a sudden he's just like, this is a deal I trust. Yeah, I think he's just feeling her out, seeing where it's going, because she does need him too, because oh. she wants to overtake the commission, and he's the best assassin that she has, and if it goes south... He really is the perfect scapegoat, like she was saying. So I mean, even they if they kind of need each other. I think even if it goes well, it's supposed to. She's the scapegoat. I'm as, like, I'm assuming if he, oh, she, yeah, if he kills the heads, <laughs> then whoever's left is gonna be like, yeah, this son of a bitch did it. You better nominate someone new. I think that's plan A, and it should be me. Dang it, I could see that plan. Even though like I think that. she's a robot. She's a robot. Although I hope they kill that goldfish thing, which I think is the head of the commission. Or one of the heads. Yeah, I feel so bad for Elliot. I liked him a bunch. Yeah, he was cool. That was a good character. He was so... He was so weird, but I loved him. He was down to do nitrous right off the bat. Mm -hmm. No issues. Mm -hmm. It's his fault for uh, leaving the house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's He had good, sound reasons to be paranoid as he was. I mean, even if he didn't leave the house, I mean, those two are trained assassins, and while he is paranoid, what can he really do to stop him? Mm. Well, he could have had his gun. <laughs> he could have had his gun. <laughs> yeah, he would have been home with his gun. Yeah. He would have been home with his gun, that's true. Um, I am also excited to see where Ben possessing Klaus is going to go. Like, yeah, I, I like I that wonder if, power. I wonder if Ben's going to have full-on conversations with everybody else through Klaus now. Yeah, it seemed like Klaus tried to, like, get him out of him pretty quick, so maybe Klaus will be cool with... Yeah, he shook him off real quick. Maybe Klaus will be cool with, uh... It was, a uh, Patrick Oh, Swayze my God, they're gonna Woody do a ghost... They're ghost. Gonna, yeah, they're gonna do a ghost thing, probably, with, uh, him oh. and that girl. Uh, without a doubt. Ben and, yeah, whatever... Ben that and that girl, whatever her name was. He'll be in Klaus. Yeah. Oh, my God. And then her and Klaus kind of a thing, but it'll be really Ben. Oh, God. But she's never seen Ben in real life, so... Yeah, that Klaus is like, trust me, he's handsome. <laughs> <laughs> he dresses very well. My you friend's handsome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got a friend who's good looking. It's yeah. actually, it should upset you that you can't see him because... Missing out. Ooh, baby. <laughs> He'd probably not say anything, right? Huh? Would Klaus actually even say anything, or would that be more weird to be like, this isn't me, this is my friend, he's a ghost? I mean, he would have to explain it to her, I would assume, because mm. again, in, in Ghost, the movie, you know... Uh, Patrick Swayze was married to, you know, it was his wife he was trying to talk to, so. Yeah, that, that's still just a ghost. Well, maybe, He wasn't uh, trying to make a new relationship. I don't think he would say... No, I think he would say. He'd be like, yeah, that's Ben over there. But it was me over there, but Ben was possessing me. You know what, is it more Ben's power that, or than, um... No, the, well, because that would be such a... That's not even a power. That's more of a hindrance for Klaus. Right? That, yeah, that he has no ghost control can, That ghost can jump into him without control, and he has to, like, fight them off once they're in there, once they can possess him. That that's, would be crazy. That I, sounds like the plot like, of a lot of scary movies. Yeah, and once other... I mean, if Ben can do that, and it's not anything that Ben's doing, it's just a ghost thing... How many ghosts could be able to jump in a Klaus? That's a good point. <laughs> Wait a second. I'm still thinking about Klaus hooking up with that girl and then not saying if it's Ben or not. Because I feel like it would be a weird power dynamic thing if it was just Klaus, right? And it, like, would Ben even want to do that through Klaus? I mean, I don't think he would. I'm sure, he'd, I'm sure he would. Ben is so desperate for anything. Any kind of affection. Yeah. It seems very cult leader-ish to... Uh, say that it's not him, it's just a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> it's a ghost yeah. that's possessing yeah. me and like Listen, that's that not guy me. last night, that wasn't me. That was a ghost. I'm sorry for what the ghost did. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I know the ghost caused lots of problems for everybody. Oh you're not into the ghost? Okay, ghost is gone. Oh I'm a, I'm a past life now. <laughs> and uh we were all about this in a past life. Yeah, that's such an easy cop out. Yeah. <laughs> he he still might have saved uh Dave, I mean, he told him the hill he'd die on. He could certainly die somewhere else. Oh, yeah, sure. No, that's what I'm saying. I'm confused spot. by that now. Was that a legit... Because he said you weren't signed up yet. Does that mean that he changed the timeline to at least, like, the date changed, but the event stays the same? 
Or, I don't think it's all different now. Or was it... I heard he might actually ship out the same day, right? I mean, would they ship... He like, could. Yeah. Cause but then, that's th- true. But then, even if he goes out the same day, it has to have happen different. Because, again, he runs into Klaus. Yeah, everything's going to be different. I think everything's yeah. different. Just butterfly effect. Yeah, yeah, that's what I always think. But yeah. I, don't, I don't think sh- a lot of shows do like a butterfly, f- uh, butterfly effect type thing. Even though I feel like I think they kind of are in a way. The only, but at the same time, they still have the apocalypse like happening two times. But okay, well, that- I think they, I think it gets too like abstract, and you can't like tell a whole story if you start going by that idea. If you start just saying like the tiniest thing has changed everything already, because at that point, then like them uh, hitting. Like stopping the car in the street as the night that they went there could potentially like well, change so much. Yeah. Well, that means the way they ended that with uh, Klaus, that at least that sets in stone the timeline rules of like this is the there's just a standard timeline. Whatever happened before for Klaus, like that still happened that 1968 uh, stuff, and he's just moving forward. And anything else that changed because again, if he changed that right there then it would have changed how they interact with each other in 1968, which means Klaus wouldn't have got sober. Or he wouldn't have ever... He wouldn't have gone to Vietnam, or he wouldn't have gotten killed, because he knows he was about to die. And then Klaus doesn't come back, at least. He could still maybe go back, but... It would change the whole... And that would change who he is a person now. So what I'm, all I'm saying is... That sounds exhausting. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So that, that that's the dark timeline. That's why you don't hear me talking about it. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's all he did in dark. So they're doing just a standard... Whatever happened to Klaus, that's what happened. He wants to change anything, it'll change stuff, but it has already changed for him. He's his own person. Now, what was up with that Lodge thing at the end? That Five got? Oh, yeah, I have no idea about that one. Yeah. Is I'm, that a thing? Is that a like a known conspiracy thing? Well, that would make sense, uh, sort of, with what his dad said, to start making smaller jumps, which is why I'm sure all this is supposed to happen, and he's supposed to meet his dad, yeah, I'm and surprised. his dad is supposed to be like, hey, can I talk to you privately, specifically? <laughs> hey, I don't know about all this, but what if you jumped smaller timelines, and then afterwards, it's like, hey, I got this letter that says, yeah, I'm surprised he go never, to the 80s. Yeah. He, he never tried <laughs> to jump small amounts of time, like when he was stuck in the apocalypse forever. Like, he never was like, whew, I just jumped a decade, that was a mistake, or I jumped days, I should probably, let's try to jump, uh, one minute. One minute into the future. Well, he Here had we Dolores, he couldn't I mean, leave Dolores behind. If she was he dead. might have tried that the first, like, how did he, all this happen when he went 45 years? How far was he trying to go? I don't even remember the first season. He went, like, a season ahead. Or behind, or whatever. It, yeah, like, it, it didn't really, fall to winter. It didn't really specify, yeah, it went from fall to winter to uh, apocalypse. What was he trying to do before that? He was just running away. Yeah, he was just running, and he was just kind of going through time. Like, it didn't have any specific thing. He was just like, I'm going to jump through time. I don't give a shit. Yeah, because Reginald was like, you're not ready, chief. Yeah. And he was like, oh, yeah, pal, I'll show you, bud. So I think he was just kind (laughs) of blindly jumping forward. Now, imagine being able to rewind in seconds every time you say a stupid thing. Although, I guess he jumped forward there 20 years or whatever, right? Because that was when they were kids, when he was jumping forward. And then all of a sudden he jumped, and they don't die till there adults so that was like 20 years for, or not 20 but like 10 years forward 15 years forward whatever it was that he jumped yeah that's true so yeah he was jumping he decades vibed. when he should have been you know like anything else in life a couple minutes then 10 minutes Dude, imagine, then an hour imagine playing video games and you make a mistake but you can rewind time that'd be sick and it's quantum <laughs> leap or quantum the game just go back yeah man I love uh Vanya, this whole season has been like Vanya's my favorite great. character. I like her whole storyline, and I like her, uh, I like her and Sissy's storyline. But I also just like how different she is now. Yeah, yeah. Without she woke up it. from that concussion or that uh, coma or whatever she was in. That concussion, uh, better person. Yeah, I think she's... she can control her powers at least, yeah. a, at least a little bit. She got control now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that looked like some refined control. I am. I really like Vadya too, and I hope that uh, this whole Carl situation doesn't get you, ugly. Carl has been mildly sexist, but he hasn't been that bad of a person so he, far. He's not he's, a terrible guy at all. He's so far, just he's like let a, a dude in the fifties. A dude in the well, sixties. No, actually, he was kind of yeah, being. Uh, he let her. He let her stay at the house. He was, you know, he's kind of loud and, you know, again a little sexist. But what's he doing? Nineteen sixty-one. Uh, he's not over the top. But he, now. <laughs> that he's seen that. 
I think we're about to, uh, you know, I think he's going to step his his douchebag game up a little bit. Wasn't he, uh, was he being kind of a dick the last episode? I don't even remember. He would, no, he was, uh, he was, like... He got a promotion. You know, no, he got a promotion, and then he was, like, you know, trying to get Sissy to, like, you know, be happy for him and kiss him in the face. Oh, yeah, that. that whole family's a goddamn mess. Yeah. yeah. It's the, it's, it's, he's, he's dealing with his son, and then the wife... I'm sure there's a big disconnection. She <laughs> Over, doesn't even know what she likes. Overbearing likes. father. She's not the uh, Lesbian mother. Autistic kid. So, they need a nanny. Which is why they got Vanya. Yeah. And now, you know, she's falling in love with the nanny. Which, it's always how it goes. <laughs> it's always how it goes. And that kid probably has superpowers now. Yeah. Yeah, I still think something yeah. weird happened there. At the very second, I was like, oh my god, is he, uh, what's the kid, the guy's name from the first season, Howard? It's not Howard, but it's so lame. It's the worst name ever. Oh, Pete? Huey? No, one of them. Who's the, Vanya's boyfriend? Oh. The shittiest, it's, it's uh, oh. Uh, he's a woodworker from Bricktown. Just, I remember is a super dorky name. Like Frank or Huey no, or no 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 Lance. No, and then he remember. Then he changed his Lance. name. He was like, "That's not my real name. My real name it is." Was and it was another <laughs> shitty name. I'm looking this up now because this is driving me nuts. Either way, I. Uh... Oh fuck! Oh yeah, do, do for some random reason I was like, "What if that kid turns out to be him?" But they, I, before I even got the full <laughs> thought through, I was like, well, yeah. nope. <laughs> like, it didn't even totally go through my head before I was like, oh, okay. There's so many reasons that's not what it is. <laughs> His name was Leonard. Leonard. And then he goes, my name's not Leonard, it's Harold. Harold. Oh, my God. <laughs> Same. Thing. My name's not Leonard Peabody, it's Harold Jenkins. Mm-hmm. Man. Sounds like a white I boy. can be anyone I want. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Leonard Peabody. No, I'm not Harold Jenkins. Yeah, I'm not I Harold cool Jenkins. I can be any new person I want. Meet the new me. Yeah. Le Leonard Peabody. <laughs> <laughs> Sup, ladies? Nice to meet you. I'm Leonard Peabody. <laughs> yeah. One at a time. <laughs> ladies. I collect things. Really obsessed with mowing the lawn. <laughs> <laughs> Love getting my lawn just right. <laughs> Old woodworker from Bricktown. <laughs> All right, probably good. It should be good. Juice Labs.